up front tonight, the impact of Omicron surge across our state. And we're going to be joined live now by Brian Peters, Chief Executive Officer of the Michigan Health and Hospital Association. Brian, thank you for being with us this evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Well, we know Henry Ford Health System starting to see a slight decline in some of its COVID numbers tonight. How would you say other hospitals across the state are doing right now? Well, fortunately, what you've heard from Henry Ford Health System is uh, emblematic of what we're hearing from our member hospitals throughout the state of Michigan, and that is a trend in the right direction after seeing uh, our COVID hospitalization numbers increase day after day after day. Uh, we're finally trending uh, positively, but we are a long ways from being out of the woods at this point in time. What are the greatest challenges for medical facilities right now? Is it staffing levels? A big concern with healthcare workers out sick or? There's no question that the workforce uh, sustainability uh, crisis is our top concern at this point in time. And uh, frankly, even if we're able to, uh, to see a, a very significant decline in COVID hospitalization numbers, the reality is we have a shortage of frontline caregivers and non-clinical workers in our hospitals as well uh, that won't be solved overnight. This is a, a longer term issue that we're working very hard uh, to address. Uh, there are signs of optimism there as well, but uh, this is going to take a very concerted effort uh, to correct over the long haul. And, and simply uh, looking at the fact that we have a, a number of flu cases that are now hitting our hospitals throughout the state, certainly in Southeast Michigan as well, tremendous amount of pent up demand for healthcare services, non COVID related, uh, that's adding a real stress to the system as well, above and beyond these, uh, these very high number of uh, COVID cases. So do you think we're at the peak of Omicron in Michigan yet? I'm very optimistic. It was about a week and a half that we hit our all time record high uh, for COVID hospitalizations of around 4,900. Uh, we're down significantly from that point in time and hopefully that trend will continue. And if it does, uh, that will mean that yes, uh, we have hit our peak. Uh, some of the evidence from uh, looking around uh, the, uh, the country and around the rest of the world would indicate that that could potentially be our, our situation. We sure, certainly hope that uh, that's the case. Well, the link for the at-home tests going around, the Biden administration starting to give those out, as well as KN95 masks. Will this help, or is it a little too late?